Hello everyone! Welcome to the start of round of 8 of the Sam Club and our 2003 Cup Series Cup Championship Playoffs. This is Herge Alarman Lanza here, and we welcome you here at the Paperclip Martinsville Speedway for the running of the STP 500. Eight drivers remaining for the battle to conquer the championship here. So who will be the first driver to advance to the championship four? Let's find out here next. Round 27 of 30 of the first season of the Sands Club Cup Series. So, hello! It's freaking good here to see you guys watching here at Morrinsville. So, 77 degree Fahrenheit, 10 miles per hour from South East. And it is clear weather today. So, we expect some good lead changes and everything. So, anyways. Let's go to the playoff grid. So we have Jesse Turner already in after a round of round of twelve, going into the round of eight, and to the cut up line it was Jordan Bell who made it in. So we have Jesse Turner, Jasmine Proki, JD Bryant, Benny Watson, Sam Rogers, Stuart Graden, Carson Scott, and Jordan Bell all in remaining for the battle. So we have only so Two of the RCR cars are eliminated here, so including Prince Breeze and Matt Top, who already have a bad run since Charlotte. So anyways, let's go to the starting lineup. So we have Griffin Lynn on the pole, Eric Hyden, Pokey, Andrews, Fraser, Volk, Madden, Truxel, Bryant, and Allen. Graden, Noah Cars, Gary May, Luke Brainy, Chavez, Weekend, Freeze, Fitzwater, Turner, and Watson. So... These are the rest of your starting grid. So, Roland Chavez and uh, Abe Troxel are already eliminated here. Start so. your engines. Here's the command here. So, here's the rest. And another DNQ for David Johnson. How about that? I think it's 6th straight or 7th straight DNQ here. 40 laps. 35 miles per hour speed road speed and it's 21.32 miles racing or maybe we should we should say barring racing here at the paper clip again Griffin Lynn in this credit one bank Chevrolet on the pole pace car is going in again Lynn Hayden Pokey Andrews and Fraser on the top five apart timer on six there we go. Green flag down the air to the start of round of eight. Justin Pokey forces it to three wide. They clears it. They cleared it. Justin Pokey for the lead. To the inside. He does it. Pokey leads lap number one. Razor trying to take second away from Lynn. While Abe Truxel trying to take fourth from Hayden. Pokey is pulling away from the pack. Why in the world, guys? Bobby Fraser clears. And what in the world? That's the number 15 Premium More Sports Car on second. Well, it's not a glitch. It's real. And battle for fourth. I, I think it, they are going three wide. No, Ryan Madden takes fourth. Abe Troxel was already eliminated from the playoffs. Currently running third. Pretty good for him. And Jesse Turner made an early problems in the race. I didn't notice that. An early problem. A playoff contender here. Running 40 yet. Dead last in the field. Force 3 wide with Cody Smart and another playoff contender, Stuart Graden. Jesse Turner, who won a Charlotte, advances to the round of 8. The mid contact is in. Actually. 
So still, Jesse Turner has still a chance in Texas and Phoenix. There goes Stuart Braddon. His only win currently is at Talladega Super Speedway, the Geico 500. So that's why he is locked in the playoffs. Marty Johnson, who was already eliminated here. Matt Top up there. Sam Rogers is up there. A playoff contender here, and I think three wide, four wide, no. That is almost. Here's Carson Scott, another playoff contender here. Currently running here. Trying to pass Luke Rainey here. And Sam Rogers was way up high. Matt Tuck and Jesse Turner made contact. A lap car problem, to be honest. Here's Benny Watson, another playoff contender. Trying to make it in the championship four. And I think Pokey, who never won a race here yet, is looking forward to get his first ever win to make it in the championship four and no! Tyler Marco spawns out, no cautions out. Why in the world? I think they made contact with the 33 before he spun out. He made contact with Nick Perkles. Why in the world, guys? Why in the world? Jasmine Pokey and Bobby Fraser and Ip Choxo are pulling away here. As look at that the 33 has damage on the right side so that it probably means that the 33 of Nick Perkles and the 34 of Tyler Markle made contact before Tyler Markle spun out I think this was caused by Abe Troxel no not Abe Troxel by Nick Perkles lap 14 here and the 18 of Jasmin Pokey dominates. I think it's going to be the next Jeff Gordon here. He never won a 2015 race until Martinsville to make it in the championship four. But Tyler Markle, Tyler Markle and Jesse Turner. Are you kidding me? They're too slow. Jordan Bell, a playoff contender here. Trying to pass another playoff contender, Benny Watson, to the inside. Watson clears the 20 of Bell. Bell. No, he can't. Carson Scott is up there. I think he's the last driver in the cut line currently up to this point. As Sam Rogers to the inside of Hanley. To go in for that position. Too wide, too wide, too wide. Trying to clear the 83 of Henley. He clears him. It would be a big fault if someone could overshoot that every corner here. There goes the two of. Uh, Stuart Gradden. Back to the lead here. The 18 of Jasmine Pokey to the inside of a lap car, Jesse Turner. If Jesse Turner continues that, he would be a blue flag for that. And how about that? And is Jesse Turner doesn't clear yet. He's falling back. He's how many laps down? Four laps down currently. Jesse Turner here. Why in the world? So Abe Troxel here. Trying to take second from Bobby Fraser. He can't. He can do it yet. After 21 laps. No. I think he's overshooting it. 
Nope. Sorry for that lag. Why in the world? And the 19 of Ryan Madden as he tries to pass the 27 of Abe Troxel. He can't. He can't do it. So, back to the lead here. Chespin Pokey trying to dominate the race and win it. But what happened to the pole sitter Griffin Led? So, the key here is start on third place so you can win the race. Can this be effective for Chespin Pokey? Stuart Graden here in the two. The Team Pinsky car is looking to to make it in the championship four to be one of the four contenders here. And I think Ben Spree hits the wall. But that's not a factor anyway. So back here to Abe Troxel. Currently running third, although he's out already of the playoffs. So what happened to the front row starters here? So Matt, no, Griffin Lynn is currently fifth. And Eric Hayden is currently seventh. So... So, 13 laps to go here. Can someone get rid of this bandicam log watermark here? <laughs> Sorry. So, yes, the 18, Jasmine Pokey dominating. While I'm going to use Facebook for some reason. Uh, uh, too many. So, anyways, come on, ma'am. Look gorgeous in the picture, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the profile picture of my teacher, and I like it <laughs> actually. So, sorry for that. Let's go back to the lead here. For some reason, 10 to go here. 10 to go. Jasmine Pokey, your only few laps led. And Tyler Markle is closing in to Nick Burkles, who is very upset of what happened. That is good timing that he fell back. Nick Perkles fall back and Jesse Turner still very slow. And why in the world? Blankies, I guess, he hits the wall. So though so he's too slow. Eight laps to go. Honestly. This race is very boring. Nick Burkles is up there. Blanky is trying to pass the lap car of Jesse Turner. I think it's currently five laps down. So really, Jesse Turner is too slow because of the issue earlier here. That's why he has to go. You have to go to the pit road and fix that problem and he's back unfortunately he's so many laps down so how many laps remaining we have three laps to go wait no i think five laps to go sorry so it's not a factor jesse turner is in the factor here a lap car is in the factor here for to go here. Bobby Fraser cannot get into Chespin Pokey. And 
3 laps to go for Chaspin Pokey to advance to the championship four. Your how many laps, the overshoots? No. Bobby Fraser can get into him. Chaspin Pokey, you have only two to go to get it in. Two to go for Chaspin Pokey to win the STP 500 at Martinsville. Chaspin Pokey didn't win any race this year. Trying to win. Final lap brought to you by Credit One Bank. Oh my god, this is going to be exciting. Oh my god! Oh my god, he really won! Just been pokey, I missed that! I think, you know, sorry for that for the left thing. <laughs> he won! And he is in to the championship for at Miami! <laughs> Yo, flag is out because of this! I think it's carnage thing over here. Jordan Bell is up here. But let's see the chase grid later on. Oh, I mean play up grid later on. And oh my god! Oh no! Tyler Markle hits the 30 of Nick Perkles. And the crowd roars. Oh my goodness! This is a thing that I watch for. Anyways, here's the results. Pokey, Fraser, Truxo, Madden, and Lynn. JD Bryant, Roland Chabas. And again, it's a glitch here. Roland Chabas is a uh, playoff contender. And Sam Rogers does. And Jesse Turner is five laps down. He finished dead last. So there they go. So we have Nick Perkles here and Tyler Marco feud. I have no idea why. But the win by Chaswin Pokey is an epic. Here's the play of grid after this race. Pokey is already in at Miami. JD Bryant is 21 points ahead. Stuart Garden is 14 points ahead. And the gap between Benny Watson and Jordan Bell is just one point. Well, we have Sam Rogers here, two, po two points back. Carson Scott, five points back. And Jesse Turner, who finished dead last, is 13 points back. Here's the rest of your points standings here. Here's the 9th to 16th result. And here's the rest. So thank you guys so much here for watching Martinsville's STV 500. So the next race will be at Texas Motor Speedway. And yes, thank you guys so much. This is Herjolarman Lonzo signing out. Thank you guys for watching and see you at Texas.